977, 978. Interesting matchup here. We've got Stroman and the Cubs, Lance Lynn and the White Sox. Nearly a pick here. Minus 106 to the Cubs, minus 104 to the White Sox. Total of nine with some juice to the under at minus 115. Corby, let's start with you here. So I was going to take the Cubs double result. That was at plus 135. Then I see the run line in the first five here is at plus 130. So I'm going to back Stroman and Lynn, two pitchers who very well could be traded. These two pitchers could be traded today. We don't know, but it looks like they're both going to start. Stroman has not been good over his last five starts. You could actually argue Lance Lynn's been better over his last five starts than Stroman has been. But I have him profiling one of the biggest discrepancies on the card today. Marcus Stroman, a 6.02 weighted OPS. For the record, that's the second lowest on the card today. 7.72 on the other side for Lance Lynn. I think the Cubs have a little bit more to play for if they can string together a couple wins, get within two or three games of the wild card. They have stuff to play for here. I like that the righties in the lineup, you get that bum Patrick Wisdom out of the Cubs lineup. I can't stand watching Patrick Wisdom play baseball. I'm going to back Stroman here. It makes me nervous. But I'm going to take the Cubs on the run line in the first five here at plus 130. I think I'm getting a pretty juicy number there. What do you think on this one, Corby? Yeah, my worry, obviously, is trades. Uh, if you're if you're playing it, play like pitcher listed if you want the um, Cubs or the White Sox. I, I wouldn't trust the idea of action action here. Um, I, either of these guys could go like just scrolling through Twitter. I'm sure you could hear me obnoxiously typing my loud keyboard but looks like Stroman is in heavy talks and Lance Lynn to the Rays is a heavy talk right now so by mm -hmm. all means I could see I could see both of these guys um, not playing today is one of those days like baseball is tough you gotta mm -hmm. like, there's there's no bigger edge that you can have on a sport than beating the market to an idea of somebody not playing like if uh, if you can beat the idea of Stroman getting traded and, and be on the White Sox when they bring up a different pitcher then by all means that's the biggest edge you're gonna have um mm -hmm. And I, I'm nervous that could happen on either side here. So by all means, I, I, I have no clue. Yeah, I'm taking this in the vacuum, assuming it's Stroman and Lynn. I think I'm getting good value here at plus 130. Uh, usually Stroman here is favored heavily. He hasn't been great. So I'm going to buy low on Stroman, sell a little bit high on Lynn here. What do you think, Jay? Cubs, White Sox? I don't think – I'm not super worried about the uh, possibility of – of one of these guys getting traded today, by the way, running the top of the second inning as usual when you lose a mm -hmm. nice plus money. I saw that yesterday too, three runs in the second or something like that. Yep. <laughs> That's the way it goes sometimes. Anyway, um, yep. I don't see either of those guys getting traded today before their starts. I do see this being essentially a showcase start for both of these guys, you know, a chance to, yep. to get the price a little higher. Um, see, you know, show everybody how great they are. But uh, yeah, bet on the Cubs. I like Stroman a lot better. I think uh, kind of saw the the White Sox manager, the quotes from him yesterday, kind of saying, "This is on me. It's my fault that our team's not good." And not so much that they're giving up, but they're openly admitting at this point in the season, you know, at the end of July, that it's just not working and. You know, it's it's a lost year for the White Sox. So um, I expect them to be sellers at the deadline. I don't know exactly which players are on their way out, but I think, you know, guys like Tim Anderson probably could use a change of scenery. But uh, I think the Cubs are the better team today. All of a sudden, the Cubs have a better chance to make the playoffs. Oh, now two runs in the second inning. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I was about to say, Cubs have better odds right now to make the playoffs than the Marlins. Um, Marlins are now up two nothing on Tampa Bay Rays, but uh, yeah, I don't know. That's uh, I, I think the Cubs. The Cubs are probably sellers, but they actually are also a playoff contender. As weird as that sounds, they're right. they're Schrodingers, you know, both at once, sort of deal. Yeah, and, and with the pitching rotation, that if they can squeak into the playoffs, they could cause some tr some problems because they have you know. Two legit top-end starters in Steele and Stroman. Drew Smiley, certainly serviceable. It's an interesting team here. I just think when I look at it, if you took in a vacuum and someone said, hey, you got Stroman versus Lance Lynn, and you're getting plus money in the first five innings, to me, it's something that I got to take I got to take a shot on. So I'm going to lock in the Cubs' first five on the run line at plus 130. It's a good number in the first five innings. Uh, the leaf blowers are going on in the back. And we're locking in for uh, Jay, the Cubs' 
on the money line. You got to love that. Went right behind there. And they, they know. You know how many times I've told these guys, do not come here in the morning. Just don't do it or you're going to get yelled at. Like, I'm going to go out like a psycho banshee after this show. These guys are going to absolutely hate me when the show's over because I'm going to unleash fury like you have never seen.